Right, welcome back after the winter break. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, we're going to start off with the December Gold Cup. A two mile five furlong 0 to 160 handicap. And the top one is spilt over for Ryan Tamasemi. Modern way for Leon van Rensburg. Band of Gold. Graham Clutterbuck. Confessions of an Assassin. Paul Rhodes. Take the knee, Ryan Tamasemi. Fond Taft. David Hooley. Arjos Yonoth. Rintis for Darren Thompson. Romney Saison. Ryan Costello. El Sophia Miller. Thomas Rogers. International Rescue. Paul Rhodes. Rhea Coronas. Alex Cherry. Time to leave Craig Beckwith. Trojan Hysteria. Alex Cherry. And Miss Wacky Asset for Ryan Costello. 14 of them in this first race. My video is very jerky. They're off and racing. So if this gets out of sync, apologies, but I've got a very stuttering video to watch here so it's spilt over who's gone into the lead then making his way down towards the first of the 17 fences with El Sophia Mella just in second as they get to the first which they're all safely over and uh, El split over, split over is the leader by about two lengths then coming down to the second with El Sophia Mella time to leave an international rescue after that one and they're over that one safely as well bit of a mistake by time to leave but he decided it wasn't time to leave and the jockey stayed in the plate so looking towards the back of the field and the one that's just poking his head into shot is Ar Argus Ionis Rentis I'm going to get back used to saying that again as they get over number three and spilt over he's continuing to lead then by about two lengths to El Sophia Mella in the green jacket in second and then Romney Saisons and Confessions of an Assassin after that one the orange sleeves of Rhea Coronas on the inside, the one that's closest to us is the Leon van Rensburg horse Modern Way. And looking towards the back, it's still just Agios Ionis Rentis, who's the back marker. So they're making their way towards the next, and they've got just two miles left to race their net and spilt over. And it's got a lead of about three and a half now as he gets over fence number four, which they've all got to the side of. They haven't, though, because take the near's gone. So Ryan Tamasebi's got the leader with spilt over and take the knee. His other runner has gone, and there's a couple of fallers there as well. It's just the one, it's International Rescue. It looked like two had gone, so International Rescue is out for Paul Rhodes as well. Then, now, and maybe those two will be thinking about choosing their names a little bit more carefully because take the knee has taken the knee at least two or three times already as they take number six, which they're all safely over. And International Rescue has needed rescuing more than once, so maybe they didn't have the best of names, those two, as they get over number seven, the one in front of the big screen. And the remaining runners all take it nicely. And as we come past the stand, and they're going to swing left handed now for a complete circuit of the track. And spilt over is in the lead by about two and a half lengths to Romney Saisons, who's gone second. And then El Sophia Miller is third. Confessions of an Assassin is four. Miss Wacky Acid is five. And then Rhea Coronas in time to leave with their modern way. The Arjos Yonis Rentis has now gone to the inside with the Grey Fontar following that one. Then Trojan Hysteria, the second of the Alex Cherry runners. And the bat marker is a band of gold as they get to number eight. Which they've all got to the other side of and they make their way down there to the water jump with spilt over continuing to enjoy a lead and undisputed lead of about four lengths again now as they get over the water which they're all safely over as always and spilt over as led all the way so far leads by three and a half lengths to El Sophia Miller who settled nicely in second Romney Saison's his third modern way is getting much closer as they take that ditch which again they're all over safely and spilt over bowling along in front gets over number 11 with Confessions of an Assassin and Modern Way and Rhea Coronas the three in hot pursuit now as El Sophia Miller has just dropped back a little bit time to leave he is now switched to the outside as they make their way well inside the final mile and over this ditch and as a fall of their Rhea Coronas has gone so Rhea Coronas is out of the race as well so three down then and Spilt over's lead has gone now because he made a really bad mistake there and surrendered the lead pretty tamely to Confessions of an Assassin who races downhill and swings left handed then with a lead of about a length and a half. Spilt over's trying to recall from that mistake, he still appears to be going well in second, but how much is it taken out of him? That mistake, they get over the next one, he didn't jump at all that brilliantly again. There's another fall there, Romney Saisons has gone this time, so the jumping's been a bit shoddy so far. And it's Confessions of an Assassin with three to jump in the lead. From long time leader spilt over. Time to leave. Looking at big danger on the outside. The grey font Taff is getting into it as well as they get over to third last. And now it's time to leave. Who's taking it up? Time to leave goes into the lead. From Confessions of an Assassin in second. Spilt over's back in third. El Sophia Mellor's now getting the second win. Font Taff hasn't run on the way. It looked like he was going to. There's just two to take and three furlongs to race. And time to leave is in the lead by about two to three lengths. Two Confessions of an Assassin and El Sophia Mellor. Then on the inside, modern 
Wise is trying to get into it. Fontar the Grey now beginning to run on. Yarjos Yodis Rintis is now trying to get into it, but his confessions of an assassin back in the lead over the second last. El Sophia Mella in second under pressure. Modern Way is the one that's looking the biggest danger now. Time to leave is dropping out of it. It's confessions of an assassin at the final fence. Gets over it nicely. El Sophia Mella nearly went. Modern Way is trying to challenge the leader, but it's confessions of an assassin. There's a furlong to go. The jockey's taking it a little bit easy. Modern Way is beginning to close. It's confessions of an assassin on the inside. Modern Way is trying to get closer. Three quarters of a length now, but it's confessions of assassin holding on from Modern Way and up towards the line. Confessions of assassin is just about going to hang on and take it from Modern Way. I'll just going to rinse and then time to leave after that one. And Confessions of an Assassin, it looked like it might have been another one of those famous Paul Rhodes jockey sackings, didn't it, for a minute? Because the jockey looked like he was taking it easy and we're running. But he kept him going to the line, and Confessions of an Assassin takes the first race after the winter break for Paul Rhodes, Modern Way for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Argios Jonas Rentis for Darren Thompson was third. Time to leave Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Miss Wacky Asset ran on from the back to take fifth for Ryan Costello.